Okay, everyone, we're going to make see if my, uh, my computer will explode. <laughs> so, we are on the draw, it looks like. And I think this is a keepable hand. You know, we got turn one, Goblin Guide. Turn two, Fast Land, and the... Uh, well, I'll probably do the, the, the Goblin Gorge first, honestly. So, turn one, Goblin Gorge. Goblin Guide, turn two, Searing Blaze. You know, seems pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, keep this. And we're under KF Chicken, who we're playing against. Uh, six here. Oh no, it's blue. Okay. I think the plan is still to go Goblin Guy on turn one. Feel there. Uh, always yield. Shadow of Doubt. Ooh. Yeah, that boat's that I kind of like that. I, I, I'm thinking he might be playing Grixis. Grixis Delver, based on seeing that. That seems like a Grixis Delver kind of thing. Well, those are pretty lands. Alright, let's see here. Alright. Um, let's play Copperline Gorge. In case he, like, flashes in a Snapcaster or something cool. Well, that way we have Landfall Trigger to get some max value. Plume Veil? What in the... Is he playing, like, Mono Blue Control over there? Interesting. Let's start with this Lava Mancer. See what he does. Mana Leak it? I can see a Mana Leak. No? Okay. Let's suspend this Rift Bolt. Uh, six. So our fetch lands are dead. You need to keep that in mind. Anytime he has two up. Now they're no longer dead, so let's go ahead and X this out. I always like to keep track of what's in my opponent's hand, because uh, sometimes you, you're you not very smart and don't remember <laughs> what you saw. So it's a good idea to keep keep track, and if I ever get to see his hand beyond that, I'll write it down. So he missed the land drop, so we know he has a Plume Veil. That's why he cycled that Shadow of Doubt. So he might have a Counterspell, which is cool, which is cool by me. He can waste a Mana Leak and a turn on this. So let's go ahead and do that. Ideally, we'll draw a land. That way we can keep up Searing Blaze. Yep, it got leaked. That's cool. Oh, that's okay, too. I'm gonna... S I'm gonna save the Lava Spike. Um, no, maybe I should Lava Spike now. Spell Snare. Okay, I'll Lava Spike now. <clears throat> My thought process is maybe it's better to, to Bolt and to turn and... Oh, he just concedes. Well then, he didn't want to show me any more of his deck. Well, that was an easy win. <laughs> so we'll go to sideboard. So he's playing blue. I don't know what his deck is playing, so let's take a quick look. So spell Star Plume Veil. All right, so let, let's make a determination before we cheat and look it up on the internet. Uh, I think that was K under, KF Chicken. K underscore F Chicken. All right, so if he's playing blue, what kind of blue is he playing, though? I doubt he's playing crazy, anything crazy. Maybe we should cut the blazes. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Running volley seems good here. Um. His spell snares. That makes these worse. See, the tough thing is, I don't know if it's worth, like, bringing in the revelry, because I don't know if he's what he's got. I'm assuming if he's playing blue, if he was playing mono blue, he's gonna have something that deals with us. So maybe we split the difference and add two rivalries in. I think blood and blaze are iffy, so that's kind of what I would do in the dark. But since we have the internet, let's go ahead and Google his name and see if we can find his what his uh, deck. Let's see what he plays. K underscore underscore F chicken. So let's Google it. This is kind of kind of cheatsy, but. It's I don't think I don't think it's that bad of an advantage. So look, right there, Sonic Boom. What? Hell yeah! What this? This is a long time ago though. <laughs> I don't think we can go off of those results. <laughs> that's like that's like really bad results. All I can tell, <laughs> it's like a standard deck from three years ago. So that doesn't help. Um. 
He like he seems to like to play these cards though. It'd be funny if it was he hasn't played in like three years and just loads up his Sonic Boom deck from three years ago and plays it in modern. That would be awesome. Uh oh, here we go. Goldfish. MTG Goldfish. Damn, twenty twelve. Da, 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 da. Legacy. I bet you it's the same damn deck. He plays Food Chain? Wow. Okay. So, we have no idea what the hell he's playing. It's Mono Blue Control of some type. We'll, we'll run it like this. Let's, uh... Yeah, run it like this. We'll see what happens. Hmm. This is a tough one. <clears throat> we have 19 more lands in the deck. But... He, he has Shadow of Death, I can miss Perfetches. Alright. I'm gonna vote that we keep this on the power of we have four things being cast on one. If we hit a second land, then Eidolon's good. It's risky. One land hands are always risky, but because we got we got Goblin God on one, then we have Spike, Bold, or Volley on, on the second turn, if nothing else. You know, we have a game plan. If we draw another land, then our, our hand is really good. So, I think it's, I think it's fine. We might just lose with a handful of uncastables, but we'll see. And this is where he'll be like, Force Spike, or some kind of weird Force Spike I didn't know existed. So, hopefully we don't we don't get Vapor Snared here. Vapor Snagged here, that would be annoying. It'd be worse if he, if he got a free land and then he Vapor Snagged us. Dalkin Shackles? Oh no. I think I saw it in those revelries. <clears throat> Spell Skite. Alright, even better thing I saw it in those revelries. And we cannot. We cannot render any well like that. Which is a shame. Um, there's no reason really to attack here. Let's get an auto spike in. Pass. Attacking could give him a free land. Which is not good. After seeing more of his deck, I'm, I'm going to sign the other two volleys after sideboard. Other two, uh. Revelries. No, this is not good. See, this is what happens sometimes when you keep these iffy hands. Yep. Would it be sweet if counter spells on the format? I'd be excited about that. It'd probably be too powerful. He's he's not hitting lands either though. He could have a couple spell snares. So we at least we at least have to make him pay life for this, which is good. Or, or spend his mana. He has a mana leak. That's fine. Nope. Ah, damn it. I say that would be good because then at the very least. Okay, so here's what we're going to do we're going to attack. It it's kind of sucks giving him free land. We're gonna attack because afterwards I'm gonna bolt him, and he'll have to pay. He'll have to pay two life. Threads. Ugh. He's gonna block. I don't. Oh, he didn't block. That's interesting. Well, our bolts aren't doing us any good right now, so let's bolt him. Make him pay two life to to redirect that. <clears throat> yeah. Because, I mean, with the, uh, right now being constrained a mana like this, our bolts aren't doing us any good. Because he can, like, chill back. And he's probably got... Um, I draw a land, will be good. So, there's no reason for... Uh, he might have a mana leak again, but that's fine. I don't care. Uh, I'll save the spike for now. I'm not going to attack into that. Let, let's toss this lightning bolt away. He's going to he's gonna have to spend his constricted mana to redirect it. Or dispel it, which is fine. Interesting. Well. Let's see if we get this through. 
You might have spell snare. Or another dispel. We can't we can't play around his stuff forever though. It might have been smarter to attack into that. I don't know. Now we're in trouble. Yep, 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 yep. Maybe we'll draw land. <coughs> Eidolon. Hmm. Well, at least we get to stick Eidolon right now, which which is fine. We're, we're ahead in life, so. Oh, man! What a shame. Goblin Guardian. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so. There's really no way around this. I'm at the running volley that now. Just which sucks, but and we're gonna take an extra two here, which is also annoying. But I, I did that so I can have I can have more of a threat, more threats on the board. I actually will probably trade the guides off and then make it so that he has to. I mean, trim this out. Damn, he had another seller. How about that? That's some shit. Damn. Uh, he's taking the idol on again, which is fine. Hopefully we get a free land off this. Yes. Let's trade off these guides. Because we're not getting a guide through these walls, and we, we can't have them get us to low enough life. So we can deal him seven. Then he then we take four. Huh, that seems very dangerous. Because hmm. does that deals it to the opponent? We can deal him seven right now, and we can kill him with flames. We would take f four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'd be, we'd be take exactly dead. So that won't help. Our play here will probably be. Let's think about this second. If we play Swift Spear, we have shackles. He, if he if he can draw land and cast shackles, and go shackles steal your Swift Spear. He'll take two. He'll go to nine. Then he can attack us for one. He can attack us for five. Then we go to five. He'll beat nine. This is really tough. Uh, I'm gonna play the swoop spare and think pass. I think that's the play. It's we're in a tough spot either way. Spell so, uh, could you gain reach? So, green and red. We take two from that, we go to six. He might have counter spell, but he takes two, so he goes to nine still. Um, this lets us be able to block the sour. We go to four. Either way, this, this isn't a very this isn't a very great, uh, we're not in a great position. The double sour limitation really messed us up. Definitely sign in more revelries. That is without a doubt something we're going to do. Damn! Hey, cryptic command too. Damn, damn, damn. We're just dead. We're locked out of the game now. We can't cast anything without dying. Man, kill Byron Island. That sucks. There's nothing we can do. 
Alright. Let's play this a little smarter. That was very obnoxious. Alright, so both rivalries come in. Searing Blood and Searing Blazes are coming back in. He's got creatures that we can target. I think Skullcrack's not useful here. I don't think a Tarkus Command's that great either. Volley's still fine. Everything else we have is fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and play it like that. Maybe we'll lose the first round. Who knows? Wouldn't that be great? Yes, we want to play first. This hand is a lot better. So we're going to keep this. Um, I'm going to take three and get a stomping ground because I don't want to have to worry about playing around Shadow of Doubt next turn and not being able to cast the Revelry if I want to. See what he get he has on top first. Okay, that's fine. We're gonna bolt him for combat. Holy shield. Okay, so now we'll have uh, all right. by the foothills. That's fine. We're not going to do that same play this turn because there's a chance of encountering it. I'd rather not. <clears throat> Especially when we got him so low. So if you want, he'd be at seven. If it was seven, he'd be at three. If it, four, if it resolved. But I don't think it would have resolved. I'm pretty sure he's either got remand or we, we, remand would be fine. But so who's that? Ideally, he'll go plume veil. Threads of disloyalty. That's great. I think we got him now. Kill that. Green, red. Six. Yeah, he's just dead. I don't know, but just bolt him for game. I doubt he's got a way to kill him. Did kill that. All right. So now we're on to match two. See you guys for round two.